All right. We're 20 minutes into the future here at NAM 2019. I'm Suit and Tie Guy. I am uh, STG Sound Labs and also host of KnobCon, the world's only synthesizer convention. Anyway, I've got some new stuff to talk to you about. I'm very excited about it. We're going to start with this. It's a power supply. Wait, wait, wait a second. That says Moog on the back of it. Moog. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does say uh, Moog on the back of it. Uh, the power supply is called the Boat Rocker. This will rock your boat, your Moog boat. Your Mother 32, uh, you might decide you want to put it in a big Eurorack case, right? Well, what are you going to do about, like, you, get, you got this empty boat. Well, you put my boat rocker in it, and then you can rock out. So what does the uh, boat rocker add to your Mother 32 Oh, well, case? you've got 10, you got 10 power outlets. You've got eight STG sync bus connectors, okay, which is very cool. Now, it uses the holes on the back of the Mother 32 for the, the DC power goes in there, and then DIN sync goes in here. So if you've got an Arturia Beat Step Pro, you got an Arturia Drum Brute, you know, you can uh, basically, uh, yeah, you use a sync bus real easy. Anyway, so I got that done. I was like, okay, cool. I mean, it's not done yet. It's still in progress. But we got some, bo uh, you know, we got some boards, uh, some prototypes working well enough that I can demonstrate it, right? Then also, I've got a VCO. This is the dot VCO. Now, this is a much further along than the boat rocker. In fact, it is available for ordering right now, and it will ship in June. This is the world's most this is the world's most advanced analog VCO in Eurorack format. Why is it the world's most advanced Eurorack analog VCO? Well, it's an analog saw core with a sawtooth triangle and sub-octave square wave but it has a completely digital tuning system, okay? Now, th that does not mean it's a DCO. This is an analog VCO, but these controls, octave, semitone, and detune, they're all digital, uh, the very high resolution digital. In fact, we use a four channel digital to analog converter so that we can maximize the resolution on these controls. So, uh, the f so we're gonna listen to it. Okay, that's pretty exciting, right? Because it's just a sawtooth way. But anyway, so uh, the the range knob starts out with LFO. You can't hear that because it's an LFO. But then, 32 feet, 16 feet, 8 feet, 4 feet, 2 feet, and then uh, this mode is called wide. It's it's basically so you can sweep the whole range of the oscillator with the detune control. Um, Anyway, the next control is called semitone. It, it, if you could hear that, it's all stepped, right? I don't really like rotary switches because rotary switches uh, basically like spend their entire life uh, breaking. That's literally how they're designed. So uh, potentiometers last a lot longer and are cheaper than rotary switches. So I decided to use potentiometers and a computer inside the VCO to do what other people would do with the rotary switch. And it allowed for me to do something extremely exciting, which is this thing, you see this here? Oh, no, oh, we gotta talk about the detune control. So that's the other thing. The detune control is only plus or minus one semitone. So it's like about two semitones total range, a little more than two. Now, um, the modulation section here. Okay, so we got a control input, one volt per octave. We got a modulation input, which is one half volt per octave. So you can have very wide modulations. And then you have a sync input, a hard sync input, right? Now, the modulation input jack is normalized to a digital drift generator. That's true, or that's, that's right. We have uh, actually like used a computer to make a modern high-tech analog VCO sound more organic. It is a random modulator. Now I'm gonna bring up, I'm gonna bring it up and I'm gonna put it right in the middle about, um, and I'm gonna bring up the modulator.
But that's quite wide, that drift there. Yeah. It can, it can drift up to an octave, basically. That's the fastest rate. And, it, and it'll go very slow. Oh, hi. Anyway, so that's the drift generator. You can think of it as a random wobulator, perhaps. Which brings us to the next thing, which is now I got the, the now this VCO, this VCO is available for ordering right now at stgsoundlabs.com. I got a special discount going for uh, while I'm at the NAM show. Um, it's uh, 200 bucks if you buy it right now, but the price is going to go up to 250 or so, like when this thing actually uh, ships, or actually like when I get home, it's going to go up. But whatever. Anyway, I was like, okay, I got a VCO. Well, that means. I got a VCO, I got a power supply, time to build the whole system. I'm going to call it the Radiophonic 1, okay? Because uh, it's pretty damn radiophonic. You got a bipolar attenuator multiple thing here. You got the VCO, wave slicer, which uh, I could talk about, but not right now. Uh, the uh, mixer, a Sea Devils filter, envelope generator, and the dot VCA, which is a dual channel linear VCA. Um, these two things right here, we got like, okay, so this is kind of a, you could call this kind of um, uh, an Anglo-American establishment synthesizer because we have, a, there's a Moog element to it, which is this mixer. The mixer makeup gain stage is based on the Moog CP3. The envelope generator models the Moog 911 digitally when it's in ADSR mode. Now, that's the... That's the American part. Here comes the Anglo. The Sea Devils filter is based on the EMS Synthi, a VCS3 100 whatever. It was the same circuit in all of them. Anyway, so this is a this is an, e, uh, an EMS style diode ladder filter, and the envelope generator actually models the Synthi 100 trapezoid generator, which is something most normal people do not have access to. In fact, most abnormal people do not have access to either. But now we can all have access to it thanks to this module. And how would you class yourself, abnormal or normal? What? How would you class yourself, abnormal or normal? Uh, I don't know. Maybe abnormal? I, Pretty... I class myself as abnormal. Okay, so. well, then we're classing ourselves as abnormal. But anyway, so yeah. Um, yeah, the... Um, I don't know when it's going to be available. It all kind of depends on when the when the boat, boat rocker is ready, is done, and uh, I got to figure out how to get these cases. It's okay. We'll get it sorted out. But I'd like to thank Sonic State for being so supportive and doing such a great job in the scene. I'd like to also tell you about KnobCon. It's the world's only synthesizer convention. It's happening this year, September 6th through 8th, in Chicagoland. Um, and uh, be there or be square. <laughs>